Good evening, SC viewers. This is Satellite Media. Mr. Chide Dumaike, I want you to help us understand what actually transpired because it seems as if a random mockery is not unrelenting in attack of Obi, but surprisingly, he was unable to link Obi to the last protest, even after making a frantic effort to black baby to I, I think to understand is being used by Northerners. That's what Tribu's administration must understand. The lives of Ononuga, Bayomokri, and Buala, most of them are having Northern agenda, uh, are being used by Northerners, you know? That's what they, they are telling uh, Mr. President Bola Tinubu to see, look into it very well and see how he's going to, you know, remove these people who are currently, you know, destroying a, a, a Southern president with all it takes. You can see that uh, uh, the, the, the likes of Reno Mokri from history, you understand that Reno Mokri was one of the people that was mistakenly picked by President, good, former President of Nigeria. I don't know who introduced Renan Mokri to Jonathan at that time. When eventually jo Jonathan picked Renan Mokri, I think he took him to the cleaners and was able to, you know, to, to dry clean him to understand that the people can be able to uh, 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 manage his presence in that uh, seat of power. Then, that was how Renan Mokri eventually become a Renan Mokri of today, you know. So from that point till now, uh, we have seen Renan Mokri uh, you know, uh, serve that uh, go government uh, under uh, uh, Jonathan. Then subsequently, uh, uh, when um, uh, Atiku seemed to have, you know, failed or uh, did not get exactly what he, what he wanted politically, you know, Renan Mokri moved. All of a sudden, he started claiming what he, he, he was not actually, you know. So, and that is the reason why the Atiku discovered that this person is not someone that can actually be relied on. Then he excused him peacefully. So on the process of trying to, you know, uh, discover uh, integrity, Atiku discovered that integrity in Peter Obi. Peter Obi is the only governor currently in the history of Nigeria where you, he is not associated either by omission or commission with any crime, financial crime. Look at the FTC list. You cannot find the, the current president of Nigeria. You can still find his name. We know what transpired between Tinubu and Ribadu as at that time. Now, today, Ribadu is the national security advisor to the same person. So, the you know, a eh, movement recently, especially on trying to feast on P2B and, and Igbo agenda at the end of the day, tells you a lot of story that eventually, that he is up to something and they need to watch it. It's not it's a matter of uh, because he did something against Tinubu. He went to London. But there is someone who at a point praised uh, Peter B, saying that Peter B have come to uh, bring um, positive uh, uh, trajectory to Nigerian politics. But surprisingly, this man has become an act enemy of uh, Peter B. Yes, because he, he, he is unprincipled, you know. He doesn't understand what it means, what integrity means. These are people who behave like the fire shades of a kid state, who believe that on stomach infrastructure, anywhere we believe face, that's where we are going. You know, so he has come not to paint his image to that extent that people have discovered that you know, money for hand, money for hand. That is the type of person Ronald Mockery is. I don't want to dive into his family uh, 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 reality, you know, because we know that every thing that has happened within the confine of his uh, 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 kindred and hamlet and even his family in the, uh, in the Bayesa state has nothing has nothing to write home about. Okay, let us not dive into his uh, personal uh, family, but it's like he's a man of double standard. Of course, we saw that the, the antecedents are already there, you know, because uh, what uh, Peter B seems to have, you know, uh, giving him that, you know, uh, uh, gap, you know, in terms of integrity, in terms of personality, in terms of what Peter B stood for today, as the only political figure, you know, that have uh, come out successful from the entire southern Nigeria, you know. So, uh, the North are looking at how they are going to uh, bring that image down, you know, uh, rape that image at the end of the day, and, you know, they believe that, you know, an expert who specializes in uh, whose family specializes in you know uh, downgrading or 
de destroying what is actually meant for good is somebody we are seeing today just like uh, the 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 bio or nonuga we are talking about you know, of what use is it to uh, the, uh, the, the, the the presidency today so and these are the people who fall in the same line with the likes of by another presently, but the judge is saying that please remove these Lagos boys from uh, from the administration, send them packing. You know, they have links with the northerners, and possibly they are using them, you know, against their government at the end of the day, trying to destroy the image of a southern president of Nigeria. Talking, uh, talking about Bola Abed Chinubu. So, Renan Mokri himself, if you look at him very well, you know, one. We know how when he went to London, I said uh, Tinubu is a drug baron. We know when he went to the same London, he said the British government should not allow Tinubu to step into uh, London because he is trying to affect sophisticated. Three, he, he said that uh, Tinubu, you know, has cases that is drug related, and such person should be chased completely, should not be uh, given attention. He was busy campaigning against the same man again. Come back now. No, it's simply because uh, Tinubu has found himself in the position of authority and subsequently is aiming at you know, what is going to come out at the end of the day from that government that is going to benefit his uh, uh, selfish uh, interest at the end of the day. But, but, but looking at it, you know, that was not actually forthcoming anyway. So the only thing is that is to play, you know, a, 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 a conduct to a damage, to not to struggle to damage the, the image of Obi against the the, the 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 present administration that's that that's that's um mr Jude michael seeing that uh, rano mokri have somehow become an unofficial diaspora spokesman of the president i'm talking about senator amai balatinobu could it be inferred that uh, rano mokri is looking for appointments not really uh, 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 no uh, if, he, if he's been given appointments he would take from the way i see it you know even though uh, he has been able to, he has been condemning uh, Tinubu in the past before Tinubu get to where he is today. You know, if they give him appointment, he's going to take. And of course, it looks like uh, uh, that's where he's aiming at, just like Asari Kubo and the rest of them. You know, if by adventure Tinubu does not get into the second term, get the second term ticket, what do you think that will become uh, Renan Mokri? He will start telling you, you know, some other things too about uh, the man who is, who is in power. But I don't think Nigerians are going to uh, listen to him anymore. I don't think Nigerians are going to uh, take him serious. As I'm talking to you now, um, investigation has revealed that you only make those uh, anti Igbo statements, fanatical statements, because uh, of what he is g gaining from social media. But I can tell you that. That be attributed to so, uh, so, so much infrastructure. Uh, of course, now that is it now because he's losing ground he's politically, he's losing influence politically. And the only sentiment that anybody can play into now that will give him money on, in, 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 in the social media is just about Ibu. Just talk about it to be, talk about it because they know that everywhere in the internet, even they reported it this morning, everywhere in the internet, in the social media, there's nowhere you go, you will not find obedient, ob obedient movement there. So, and anything that talks, they talks about OB, this thing, you know, generate strategy for him. Because Tribu is not, I don't think that he's facing a fist for his uh, financial uh, benefit. And that's why we have to make it public now. People should stop following him. He has nothing to offer. You understand? But eventually now, Peter B becomes the president, the next president of Nigeria. You see him I saying that uh, Peter B was his friend, that he know him, that he know did that and, and, and that. And it, from, from, from what my understanding, you know, uh, Reno Mokri, eh? Has the Tribu need to be careful because I can give you these three people who are in his administration suspiciously damaging that image currently now of the president of the president. I am suspecting that the northern political elite, there are nothing they cannot do. You, you understand? Imagine somebody like a, an aide, a media aide to the president, coming out to make that kind of st statement that. Obi is the one behind the protest. They cannot say it again. IPOB is behind the protest. They cannot say it again. I think the possession of Spoma misses his target. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Though. So what does that mean? You know, they are going to damage the image of uh, the man. They are going to make the, 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 the presidency, the seat of power, you know, to be very, uh, 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 to be a laughing stock.
that could not to make it look as if you know is is it, it, just for the kids. It's all it's for people who like ideas. It's for people who are not actually serious or serious-minded people. And that is why it, it, people are saying that just like what Bode George just said recently, that it looks like the Northerners are using the likes of Re Renor, uh, Bayo, Alake, and the rest of them. You know. To, anything can happen in politics because he does not see the reason why why Tinubu should not at this point in time excuse somebody like Bayo from his government and of course if possibly because they are not delivering anything all the advices that are given to him of what benefit it is to Nigeria to Nigeria it is zero over zero and that is why they are saying that these Lagos boys should be excused at least for some time I see I'm bringing fresh hands you know let let, let us have a, 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 a Democrats, you know, a, a technocrats in his government for the economies in his government. Let us see what will come out, out of it at the end of the day. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I think that's a good reason.